Tera or Peit Sadik Dalid. Um, well, into the second, into the second column already. Um, okay, you know what? We'll just start quickly from the top of the page, second column. Okay, so the Alter Rebbe is explaining why um, Purim is not going to be bottled and all the other Yom Tovim were, and he explains that on Yom Tov there's an Ali of the world, the world becomes greater. And he says <laughs> that's the Indian you know, of awakening the Ava, which is the level of the Ketedus, which is the, the person going up. And he said the six months of Shem and Amor is the level of Medidus, Sur Meira, and then you have the <laughs> level of Samuruke and Babsamim is where he becomes absorbed within the body. That's the Asei Tov. And he says like this: Vinei kol mini aliyas v'skavis kneis zolo kodesh baruch hu shabbos v'yomtiv. The whole elevation and closeness of Yidden with Hashem and Shabbos and Yomtiv, and everything that becomes elevated ilach and ilad reim amaylus. That's called touching the head <coughs> of the scepter. The Alter Rebbe asked the question at the beginning of the Maimed. One place it says Esther touched the head of the top of the scepter, and the other place is he gave it a whole scepter. He said this level of alokus, the revelation of alokus. Is called, which the way Alukos comes down into the world, that is the level of the head of the, the top of the scepter. Why? Kishar v'tazov. What is a scepter? I'm sure. So in Sal Baruch Hu, like we said, it's a vav, which Alukos coming down is chayis. Kol yom sayin v'tachtim, like it says, a shar v'tazov v'chaya. That's the exist. The life of the world comes from the shar v'tazov. Ve'en yechol l'alal es leis al kabel chayis mikol hashar v't. But it's not able. To get its nourishment from the entire Sharvit, only from the tip of the Sharvit. The Sharvit stays by the king, meaning that level of Kedusha stays by Hashem. It's only the top of the scepter is what gets. But orders of what is this order comes to this revelation is the Ava as a Kirish causes the burning love of flame of a love like a flame of fire. Shall have a say little mile, Zava Ogin Zava Tunufa, Vakatel Tachtin. Shaav, and what's the lower top part of the scepter? Shava Azazu Ber Mislebez Mizbein Migdul Saint Sabarhu. When it comes, where does this love come from? It comes from meditation into the greatness of Shem, the way he's Mamalakam and Seva Kolamin. That's the lower level of the Shavit. The Katseo El Yin, and the top is Kshemasal Hevis Mislahetis. When you meditate into the essence of Hashem, this is where we're up to. Okay, he said there's two levels. There's a level of, of, medita- of love that comes from meditating into the greatness of Hashem, Mamala and Seviv. But those two levels are worldly levels. Mamala and even Seviv is Seviv called Almin. It's still connected to the world. That's called the lower part of the scepter. The higher part of the scepter, Katseo Elyin, that's when you meditate into the essence of Hashem, which is completely above world. You can't even say the word gedula of even that, the greatness. Remember we learned, the Patsik says, We learned, when can you praise Hashem is only when He's connected to world, then you could praise Him. The level of alokus, which is infinitely greater than the world, you can't praise because there's no connection between that and that. So how can you meditate into the essence of Hashem? It doesn't say praising. He's saying about meditating. meditating. And he says, what do you meditate? Uh, the meditation is that you can't even meditate how great he is. That's what he says. When can you praise him? Only on the level of The way Yudas Chachmei is bina, the way Elokus comes into the world. But the essence of Hashem is nothing. There are no worlds. Like it says on the Avayelishen Isi. I'm Hashem, I never change. Whether it's before or after, it's the same thing. Everything is equal. 
then you can't even, that level of alakuts, there is no world, not even to say mamala, and you can't, can't even say seviv kol almin. Can it be gathered almin klal? Like it says, God al Hashem umulu me'ed, bira lekeinu har kotshe. Rabbi Razan the Chazal tell us, a mosse nikra godlo, when is Abish able to be called big? Shuhu bira lekein, only when he comes into malchus, only when he comes into creation. Why? Ki lefan of Yisbarach le shayach lo shi gedula. Great is relative to something else. If there's no connection, you can't say great. Everything is considered nothing. When is Bemidah's Gdulose? In the level of Hashem's Gdula, and as Chazal tell us, where you see his greatness is where you see his humility. Why? Because the fact that Hashem could come into the world, that's why it says, God al Hashem umahulo mayayit. When is Hashem great? When can you praise Him? Be'ir alekenu. When He comes into the world, above world, there's no connection. So what's the the praise of Hashem? The praise of Hashem is that He's so humbled. He's so humbled that He comes even into the world. Hashem is slavish b'chidus gedula. K'dayli es malchus say malchus kol elamim. And like it says, Vayeshev Hashem Melech Le'elam. When Hashem becomes king, then you can praise him. Because then, it's shaykh to say that he's great. If he doesn't come to war, there is no war. So there he is no to, world. So he has to come to war. No, that's from one level. Is there a world or isn't there a world? Is he doing us a favor or we are doing him we a favor? We sure ain't doing him a favor. That's correct. Okay. So now let me ask you a question. Is there a world or isn't there a world? Question. Good question. Okay. Maybe it's bluff. How do you know bluff? Reality. 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 Maybe this reality is bluff. Okay, so the answer is Bereshit Bar Okay, let's just a simple one. Hashem created the world. Torah says it is the world. Okay, but what level created the world? Elokim. Memalu kolam. Sevu kolam and yitke vafke. The Yema says, Hashem Elohim, at the end of creation it says, that's also a level of world. But those are names of Hashem. From the, name, from the level of names of Hashem, which means, a name again, the way you identify with something else, the way Hashem identifies with world, there is a world. But from the essential level of Hashem, there is no world. Why, why it's all relative, huh? Why not? Because as far as Hashem is concerned, there is no world. And you have Ayla so, uh, There is no world. Hashem hasn't changed, but there's a world. But why would that make it change in Hashem? Because That's before there's a world, that means I'm dealing with it, and now there's no world. I'm not dealing with it. If he wants to be a king, there's got to be a world. Correct. But that's the level of Malchus. That's the <laughs> lowest of the sphere. Whatever level, level it is, he is creating it to be. Correct. He wants it to be. But that's not coming from the essence of Hashem. The essence of Hashem has nothing to do with world whatsoever. Again, is this table big? Compared to the room, it's small. Compared to a little ant crawling, it's big. Correct? So both are right. There is a world and there isn't a world. From this level, from this perspective, there is a world. From this level of Hashem, there is no world. And therefore, if there's no world, the world can praise Him. <laughs> there's no world to praise Him. <clears throat> and he said, V'zel v'atuk, in the middle of the second column, V'zel v'atuk, Kodesh Yishiv Tilis Yisrael, Pidush, Shiliyez Chotilis Yisrael, in order for there to be the praise of the Yidin, that can only be on the level of Yeshiva. When Hashem sits, Remember, what's sitting? You lower yourself. Yeshev, you holy one, when you sit, meaning you lower yourself to the level of the worlds, then Tehilah Yisrael, then the Eden are able to praise you. You really, is really Yeshev. 
I mean, you call this, you're removed from the world. Yay shave. When you sit, when you come down into the world, then to heal is Yisrael, then they eat and they're able to praise you. But not before. This means that not everybody can have the Sharbit, the complete Sharbit. That's right. That's now. La'asid lavai, yizgah la'ayr Hashem begili. It says, in other words, what level of Elokus is possible to be revealed now? The Rosh Hashavit, which is very limited. The Rosh Hashavit, that's when you can praise Hashem to a certain level, right? But when will we have the whole Sharvit? The essence of Hashem will be revealed, and that's the whole Sharvit. Huh? What? This is an English speaking show. He's playing on words, is another one. Oh, okay. But he says, um, Yes, Gala, Erd, Avaya, Begili, Rava, Otz, Haino, I'm Shoker, Salukusa, Yes, Borich, Vats, Mosi, Mos, in the level of Ani, Avaya, Lashanisi, Hoya, Hive, Via, Keraga, Echod, and then Roko, Bossor, Beene, Asechel, Gashmi, then he, like you said before, Veroko Basar, as the Rabbi Rishab says, Basar as Basar, meat as meat, Ki Alukainu Yezebchinu Zeh, then Alukainu will be the level of Zeh, not only one Zeh, double Zeh. That means, Zeh Keli Van Vehu, the Gemara says, the Shivcha and the Yam, the maidservant that the ocean, saw more Elokus, then Yechesko ben Buzi, when he saw the throne of Hashem that we read after the first day of Shavuos, the Gemara says, the Shivcha, which represents the lowest level Jew, the maidservants. So more Elokus by Kriyas Yamsuf, then Yechesko ben Buzi, when he saw the throne and all that stuff, they saw more godliness than that. But that's only one time Zeh. Laos is lovely, v'amba b'yemo hu hine l'keno Zeh. Kivino Zeh Hashem Kivinoi is double Zeh. And where is that is Gal is going to be? B'tachtenum dafka lamata. Where is the essence of Hashem going to be revealed? Not in Atzilis, not in Keser, not in who knows what, in Gan Eden. Dafka down here. Umol ha'aretz there, Hashem. The earth. Okamei shamer azal. And the Pasek, Ka'es, Yom Eliyakov, Yisrael, Ma'poel, Shemalach, Eshari, Tishalu, Zeitz, the Tzadikim. Okay? And the Malachim are going to ask the Tzadikim. Ubemokim, Shoyu Malach, Eshari, Eimnim. Ayei, Mekayim, Kveidei. And when the Malachim ask the question, Ayei, Mekayim, Mekayim, Kveidei. The Malachim ask, where is it? Where is the glory? What are they going to tell him? Mali, Cholar, it's Kveidei. The Kveidei, Mali, Eilam. Right? So therefore, that's the gilui of l'asid lavi, and that's the difference between the two psukim. One pasuk was as to touch the reisha shavit was the gilui of that level, but then there's a second level, or the first level that he gave actually the shavit, and that's the gilui of Purim. <coughs> Whatever. I mean, it wasn't supposed to have. Every Jew has the potential for the last 5,779 years to bring Mashiach. No, after Martin Taylor. Okay, so he says, The woman of valor is the crown of the husband. Now, Elokus, that's revealed, is called the husband. Right? We're the wife. Avalos, Yeba Madrega, Goyet is going to be Ateres Baila. It's going to be the crown of the husband. And therefore it says, It's not going to be ups and downs. Ups and downs is in revelations. More revelation is up, less revelation is down. Yes? In the essence, which is the essence, not a revelation, there's no ups and downs. The essence is the essence. I'll give you a simple example. Sunlight, yeah? Okay, closer to the sun is more sunlight. Further away from the sun is less sunlight. But in the sun itself, there's not more sun, less sun. It's the sun. There's no ups and downs. There's no higher and lower. It's the essence. In the essence, it's no higher and lower. Why? Because down here is where Cheshach was transformed to light. 
the biggest keli for Ard, Yisun Ha'ar Min HaChayshech, so they said, Mishum Nishab, Nishab HaChashech, Ulan Ha'ida. Because darkness was transformed to light. V'loyel is Kaf Yitzitrach, V'loyel is Kaf Yitzitrach Bilvad. Not only is it evil broken, but it's going to be transformed, which is a much greater level. It's going to be It's not only going to be breaking evil levata mulachniyam to subdue them like it was in all the Ashar Golas, like it says mamaki misraim bivchereyam aviyarik melach madirim. What did Hashem do? He broke Egypt. He didn't transform Egypt. Egypt was broken. Raki as epech. But I rock. He got all epic. Lam sofa bruda. The whole chlamim rabim. Okay. So what's loss of love? It's not breaking of evil. It's transforming evil, and that's how you reach the essence. But he says like this. Me'ain zay hoyanes b'purim. Where was this hapcha? It's interesting. Unlike all the other gollus. That when the Eden came out of Gauls, Hashem broke them, put him, Hashem transformed Achashvedish. Achashvedish became part of the base home in Nasati Lester. It's all transformation of evil to good. And therefore, remember we learned in Marks of his Peshas and Peshitr. The mouth that forbids is the mouth that permits. Achashvedish, the same guy who made the decree to destroy the Jews, was the same guy that said, no, you can do to them whatever you want. Who atme, he himself, the same Achashverj said, right, which is not only breaking evil, is the transformation of darkness to light, in the place of darkness. Okay, so Dr. Rabbi explains like this. There's a level of Reisha Shavit, which is a Gilui. That's what Yom Tifs are all about. Elevation of the world, and therefore there's a revelation of Elokus, and therefore you get the level of Reisha Shavit, you get this level of Elokus coming down, it's a revelation. And that level is Shaykh to praise Hashem. But there's a deeper level of Elokus, the essence of Hashem. The darkness is transformed to light, which, by the way, is in itself an interesting point. If darkness is darkness, how could it be light? And by the way, like we learned many times, when you have a dark room, and as you turn on the light, as they say in Yeshiva, open the light, when you turn on the light, darkness did not become light. Darkness was dispelled. And therefore, the second you turn off the light, the darkness is back. If the darkness became light, then the room should still be light. Right? Darkness itself becomes light. That's for us to get that. Now, how could... That, that means darkness as darkness is light. Because if it's not, then you don't see darkness became light. Then it's light. It's like turning on the light. The light is light. Now, how can you transform darkness to light? That means darkness is light. It's only by tapping into a level above both. Like we said, Nesim Teva is a, a miracle, which is, I mean, a thing which is above both. And that's why that's going to be lost in loving. And that can only come from the essence of Hashem. What do you mean? That the Pasik says. No, Baruch Hashem means there's an entity of darkness that he created. Not only the absence of light. So that's what's, that's what's going to happen when Mashiach comes? That what? Darkness will become light? Physically too? There's no light? Light physically? Also? No, it's going to be Laila Kayyim Yoyed. The night is going to shine like the day. So what's it's the going point? to be night. The physical in the sense of knowledge. Physically. We kiss our head to finish. 
means it's a higher level. Chayshich is higher than light. That's why it comes down lower. The higher the thing, the lower it falls. If Chayshich is lower than or, that's why when Chayshich becomes odd, it's much greater than odd becomes odd. Why should think about it? If Chayshich becomes odd, why is that a greater odd than odd is? Because Chayshich is a greater level of odd than odd is. So in Chayshich, but it, Chayshich, it fell down here very low. But when Chayshich becomes odd, then it's a higher level of odd. Is that why by Choshek we press the head to feeling? Yeah, he just said that. Oh, he said that? I'm hardly I'm fine. Great minds think alike. But the answer I don't think is, yes, I think the answer is no. I mean... Yeah. Well, once you told me because, because of that. Yeah? Well, could be. So you don't need the sun or the moon. And the fact that the moon is going to be as... Bula'iya er, what's the... The Shemesh er, Yaima, the Basik says. So I'll psuk him. There won't be the sun, will not be the thing giving the light. Cooler, you know, because there's going to be a revelation of Elokos. So what's the point of the moon becoming just as uh, luminous? Luminous. That as shows the that the both things are equal. That means they're the revelation <coughs> of the essence. And also, there is a portion that uh, when the sun gives the lavana, it says uh, the the lavana come higher the, than the. Yeah, our lavana karachama. But the, really, the Levana is greater than the Shemesh. Not loss of love. Really? Yeah. But in creation, both of them, they were equal. 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 Then the moon complained, so it shrunk. Yes. What's the moral of the story? When you complain, you shrink. <laughs> 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 Therefore, the Chazal tell us not only put him on being bottle, and again, what's Dal Tareb explaining? Like we learned a lot in the other Maimah too. Bottom line is, loss of love is going to be a very great revelation. So, all these revelations of Pesach, Shavuos, and Sukkot, and the Shani and Kippur, all those revelations are going to be not, God forbid, there won't be a Yom Tif. The tailors, you can't say Taylor Zuli or Taylor Mechlefis. Taylor is eternal. So there will be Pesach, Shvus, and Sukkot. But the revelation of Pesach and Sukkot and Shvus, which is now Reisha Shavit, as he says, is Reisha Shavit, compared to the revelation that's going to be La'os and Lavi, it's going to be like a candle in, in sunlight. So it doesn't mean the candle won't be. But compared to this revelation of sunlight, the candle is, yeah, it's a candle, but it's not doing anything. Purim is so great, even then, the essence will be revealed, and therefore Purim will still be shining. How about the Kulosh Abad? Huh? Kulosh Abad is a That's me, on the level of Kedusha. But it's really going to be higher, it's the ultimate level of Shabbos, Shabbos Shabbos, it's the ultimate level of Shabbos. I mean, the Gila of Lassadlov is greater than the Gila of Shabbos now. I mean, now we don't see the Gila of Shabbos. Why is it the Rosh of the Shabbat? Is that the Rosh is the head of the Shabbat? The, the top. Head, the most important part of it? Yeah, but it's only part of it. <coughs> but it's the most important part. It's not really, because if you think about it, the king's holding the Shabbat. This is the Shabbat, and the king's holding it. What's the top of the Shavit? This. Yes? Yeah. Which is the first away from the king. Correct. It's the lowest. It's the lowest. It's the lowest from the... Yeah, but it's the top. She's to, what she's touching, what has to touch. Was the top, it's called the top. I, the top is what he's holding. But the pearl, it's the top of the Shavit, but not the whole Shavit. Lost in love, we're going to get the whole Shavit. But when you get the whole Shavit, the king is not holding it anymore. Correct. The king's, but all, it's, it's, he's letting go. It's revealing himself. But the essence. Why is he letting go? Why should he let it go? Why should he let it go? He's giving it to us. Yeah, but we get the revelation through him. If he's not connected to it. No, that it, the whole thing is him. Okay. 
not only put him even Allah won't stop. What does that mean? It says like this, just like the um, deer when it runs, turns its head back, the same thing he did, what he's going to explain what it means. In the, the head of the person, he has the Chachman Bina, right? In the head, officially, is the Chachman Bina. And therefore, when you turn your head back, the Seichel also goes back. Right? Go like towards the back, right? Him Hashem brings down. into the Hashem brings down the level of seichel and midas of alukus in the level of achur of chitzenius. What does it mean? Hashem's wisdom, which is teira, comes into gashmistic things. What does Hashem tell Moshe Rabbeinu in this week's parsha? But he says You're going to see the the, the the literally means the back of Hashem, the kasha shel tefillin. What does that refer to? Moshe Rabbeinu <laughs> saw the external levels of Hashem, the way Elokus comes into Gashmias. Where does Hashem's title come into? Behemoth in Kochim, right? In Kochim, it talks about animals. Mois in Seder Nazikin, in the order of Nazikin damages, it speaks about money. What does it mean? The Pneem is Retzaini Vachachmasa Yizbarach Mulubashim Bahem. That Hashem's Seichel, that's what it means. Hashem turns its back. That means the Seichel now of Alokus goes into backsided thing which are animals, money. And that's what it says. Hey Shivach Yamini. And he says, with the level of Chachma, we do the refining. Pirish, ki ein lashim birud. When you say I need to select. Yeah? Selection means two things are mixed. If something is not mixed, you don't select. Right? Now, or Kachal Derech Moshul, Sirsir, the agent of a Machlev part of a Chamor, the Gabi Hashayna Mishnah Valochazu. Okay, he says like this. The, the Mishnah says about you exchange a uh, 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 um, part of a Chamor. Okay, the case of the Bavakam is a very simple case. You exchange a cow for a donkey, and then all of a sudden the cow gives birth, and you don't know if it was before the exchange. After the exchange, who gets it? Yeah? So you have the way the physical story happened. There was an agent that made a switch between a donkey and a, and a cow. Yeah, there's a physical guy. But then there's a the guy learning the halacha. The guy learning the halacha is learning ruchnius. Or he says, a butcher, a katsav, a butcher, a misasim in the ever by him on the sachem, by him ayin, who are katsav. The guy that physically cuts up the animal is called a butcher. Ach, a misasik, laid a koprati alochis, which are dependent in the limbs of the person to separate between treif and kosher. Or machlet pata laid a, if he's chayiv or innocent, or tied is between Tommy and Tommy, the same thing, Shask, Mishnah, Gemara, Paskim, Nishenim, Achreinim. So he says like this You have the way Taylor comes into Gashmias. Yeah? So you have the Gashmias aspect of it, the way the butcher cuts up the meat, right? You physically shech the meat. That's the Gashmias of it. But now you have the Allah. Was it a kosher shechita? Was there a trefa? Was there a blemish? Was this Tommy? Was it tar? That's the learning of the Ruchnias of it. So that's not the gashmis of it. It's not the agent and the butcher and the... Theory and practice. But the practice is the gashmi. But what's the theory? Is it... Okay. I got one of them.